Dear horses from the past, the present, and the future, on behalf of humanity, I apologize for all the wrong done to you. I acknowledge that for so many years you have given us everything to support us humans on our journey. You have given your lives, your family structures, your spirit, your strength, wisdom, patience, and often your body to sustain and to assist us. On behalf of humanity, I bow to you. You humble me with your generosity, love, oneness, leadership, and patience. Even though probably most of our actions throughout the centuries didn't make sense to you, you stuck to your commitment to be on our side, regardless. On behalf of humanity, I want to thank you for repeatedly and patiently dealing with unconscious and unwakened humans who took out their own ignorance on your body, soul, and spirit. I am so sorry that humanity put you through so much pain and suffering while you kept holding our species in the light so we could still move on. I apologize for how we dragged you into wars to shed your blood when it was not your place to do so. I apologize for the fact that you were hardly ever seen or recognized as the advanced spiritual beings that you really are. And even though people are now starting to wake up and are able to expand consciousness in such a way that we can release your species out of the stereotypical box we have held you in for so long, I acknowledge that there is so much more to be done. Because there are still horses on the planet now who suffer from the many ways only human ignorance can cause your species. Therefore, my heart goes out to every single member of the Horse Collective to offer my love and my willingness to listen and to learn and to understand. I am releasing you from the limited perspective my species held you in for so long. I am willing to use my body, emotions, intuition and my soul to honor you in the same way as I would like to be honored myself. None of what has been done can be undone, but as an individual, maybe this is a start. And maybe other people will follow and start to understand the power of their own true spirit. This is my hope for the future.